Um, it went well. Um, well, I obviously got a submission in the second round, armbar, which I'm very happy with. I was hoping to have finished it in the third, I mean the third, sorry, not the third, <laughs> um, when I nearly put a triangle on and he slipped out, but um, yeah, second round, took it anyway, so it was a bit of Take those against the cage were working well for me, which I'd um, not long started practicing until um, before the fight. Um, I've been working on them a lot more now for my um, seventh pro debut. Um, obviously, there's um, strike on their feet, strike on ground. i um, been working on both a lot more than I was last time. He's, he's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter, and you know, I keep going back to these same old statements, but it's this MMA thing where guys kind of just do MMA, but he focuses as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's going to compete tomorrow. Um, he really takes it seriously, and he's got a base art. And his Jiu Jitsu is going through the roof, and I think MMA, more than anything, is, is helping him kind of really focus it right. I've got to fight this way, I've really got to train hard. Whereas the problem sometimes in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is you can kind of rest on your laurels a bit. Especially when you're as good as John is, you can kind of come to that point where you think, oh, I can take it steady. But because he's got that MMA in the future, he's really trying to train it. He's constantly keeping MMA in, in mind as well when he's developing his game. And yeah, he's got, a, he's got a good ground. I mean, it's night and day considering last time he fought. Yeah, but I mean, um, my stand up's pretty good, but um, my ground game is my base, so that's probably where it's going to go. Uh, yeah, we've got a um, good boxing coach, good Thai coach, but um, I fell in love with Jiu Jitsu from when I started it, so um, that's what I train more than anything. Um, for this fight, I've been training everything a bit more equally, but um, Jiu Jitsu is one of the best out so. He's training a lot of stand-up at the moment, he's training a lot of wrestling, you know, and his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is his thing, so I think if somebody goes to the ground with him, they can have a miserable night. And hopefully I'll show a bit of stand-up as well, um, setting up my strikes and um, my takedowns, and um, hopefully people will notice my ground game a bit even more, to be honest. Maybe throwing a bit of ground pound, maybe even knock out on the ground, you know, so I don't want to don't <laughs> sound cocky, I'm just, uh, just saying, good effort. Oh, he's dangerous. Oh, he's, 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 he's phenomenal. I, I, if you've, you've always got to be careful because you know he's young and he's just starting off in his career. And if you big someone up too much, then you, you put too much pressure on them. But, but he's good. And he's got a game plan. On a, a, you know, I think we've, we've worked hard on it. He's got strategies from every position. So I think you know he's, he's a dangerous guy. I think if somebody doesn't know what they're doing or they haven't trained Brazilian Jiu Jitsu hard, then, then they want to be careful. I, to be honest, I don't think anyone is going to try and take him to the ground. I think they're going to try and avoid the ground. Game and, and they'd be right to do so. Um, but they also need to be careful to stand there because he's, he's a well man of fighting. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank um, Kevin Webb for my Jiu Jitsu and MMA, um, Jonathan Miller for my MMA, um, uh, Lee Ferry for my boxing, and Tom Dunn for my Thai boxing. And that's it.